San Antonio police tell us an argument escalating to gunfire. One man shot with a shotgun. So take a look. This is the 7,000 block of Oval Meadow. That's on the northeast side near Converse. Police on the scene saying two men were arguing over something at the home. One of them went inside the house, got a shotgun, and shot the other in the stomach. That shooter detained without incident. The victim taken to the hospital in an ambulance. No other injuries reported. This morning, former San Antonio police officer James Brendan is now facing two counts of aggravated assault by a public servant. One for each of the people in the car the night of the shooting at a McDonald's. Now that includes a 17 year old who was not injured and a 17 year old Eric Gantu who is still on life support. Body cam video shows Brennan approach Gantu's car. He opens the door and shoots at the teen at least 10 times as Gantu reversed and tried to drive away. Now, police fired Brennan for two days after the shooting, and now he is in custody after he turned himself in. This was a, was a failure for one individual police officer. It had nothing to do with our policies. Our policies did not allow that. Our training did not, does not teach that. So this was a fail for, for one particular police officer. And Chief McManus explains this is still an open investigation. It's not clear when it will wrap up. For that reason, has not been given to the district attorney who would turn it over to a grand jury. Two people arrested in Kerrville, but their alleged crimes, well, they go beyond state lines. So take a look. Police in Kerrville stopping two people yesterday. Turns out they're suspected in several burglaries in nearby Hayes County, as well as burglaries in the state of Virginia. And this is what police found inside the vehicle the suspects were in. Officers seizing meth, $20,000 in cash, along with stolen checks and two loaded handguns. Investigators say one of those guns stolen out of Virginia, along with several savings bonds and bank account numbers from the same area. So these are the suspects, 32-year-old Cecilia Ann Kiefer, 26-year-old Aubrey Dale Fryer the second. They are right now in Kerr County Jail. Fryer is from Spring Branch. In Florida today, a jury will begin deciding whether the gunman in the 2018 school shooting rampage in Parkland, Florida will face the death penalty. ABC's Andrea Fuji has the closing arguments from both sides. This morning, the fate of the Parkland, Florida school shooter is in the hands of a jury as the prosecution asks for death. It's unrelentlessly cruel. The appropriate sentence for Nicholas Cruz is the death penalty. Closing arguments were heard yesterday in the trial of Nicholas Cruz, who pleaded guilty to shooting and killing 17 people, 14 students and three teachers on Valentine's Day 2018 at his former school, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High. The prosecutor insisting that execution is the only appropriate punishment for Cruz, describing him as a cold-blooded killer, hunting in the hallways for victims with an AR-15 fires a third shot and as she runs he shoots her and severs her spinal cord and reminding the jury of Cruz's plan recorded before the murders going to be the next school shooter of 2018 the defense asking instead for a life sentence calling Cruz now 24 broken suffering from a brain disorder caused by his biological mother's heavy drinking while pregnant and claiming he did not get the care he needed from his adoptive mother do we kill brain damaged mentally ill broken people the defense claiming Cruz took responsibility for his actions by pleading guilty sentencing Nicholas to life is the right thing to do the jury will be sequestered once deliberations begin today. All 12 jurors must agree in order for Cruz to be sentenced to death. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York.